Today, we're diving into some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming mid-range chip, the Exynos 1580. If you're into tech and love keeping up with the latest advancements, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Samsung's mid-range chips have come a long way. A few years ago, these chips were known for their weaker performance. However, Samsung has made significant strides in improving their capabilities. The Exynos 1380 marked a turning point, and now we're on the brink of witnessing the release of the Exynos 1580. This new chip is rumored to be as powerful as Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888, the top chip from 2021. That's a huge leap forward. Recently, a new Samsung chip, codenamed S5E8855, appeared in the Geekbench database. This chip is likely to be named the Exynos 1580 and might be featured in a Galaxy A50 sticks next year. Let's break down the specs. CPU. The Exynos 1580 boasts an 8-core CPU configuration. It includes one main core clocked at 2.91 GHz, three high-performance cores at 2.6 GHz, and four efficient cores running at 1.95 GHz. RAM and OS. The Geekbench test was conducted on a device with 8GB of RAM and running Android 15 with one UI 7.0. Performance scores in the Geekbench 5 test, the Exynos 1580 scored 1,146 points in the single core test and 3,678 points in the multi core test. These scores put it nearly on par with the Exynos 2100 and Snapdragon 888, which were top tier chips from Samsung and Qualcomm in 2021. Now let's talk about the GPU. The Exynos 1580 features the Eclipse 540 GPU, an upgrade from the Eclipse 530 GPU found in the Exynos 1480. This new GPU is likely based on the same AMD RDNA 3 graphics technology used in the Galaxy S24's Exynos 2400 chip. The Eclipse 530 GPU is already as powerful as those in higher mid-range Qualcomm chips, so we can expect the Eclipse 540 GPU to deliver even better performance. The Exynos 1580 is reported to have four Cortex, a 720 CPU cores, and four Cortex, a 520 CPU cores. Internally, it's codenamed Santa. While we hope the new chip won't suffer from overheating or efficiency issues, it's worth noting that the Exynos 1480 already uses Samsung's 4 nanometers technology and includes a 5G modem, GNSS, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3, and NFC. The Exynos 1580 will likely feature these technologies or even better ones. As for the manufacturing process, since Samsung hasn't released a flagship chip made with its 3 nanometers process yet, the Exynos 1580 will likely not be a 3 nanometers chip. However, the improvements we've seen with Samsung's 4 nanometers technology are promising, and we can expect the Exynos 1580 to offer significant enhancements in performance and efficiency. So what does this mean for Samsung's mid-range smartphones? The Galaxy F56, which might feature the Exynos 1580, could offer performance that rivals some of the flagship devices from just a few years ago. This is great news for consumers looking for powerful yet affordable smartphones. If you can't wait for the Galaxy F56 and need a new mid-range phone now, the Galaxy F55 is a fantastic option. It offers a great balance of performance and features at a reasonable price. We'll keep you updated as soon as we get more information about the Exynos 1580 and the Galaxy A56. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay in the loop. Your support means a lot to us. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on the Exynos 1580? Do you think it will revolutionize Samsung's mid-range smartphones? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, see you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. 
This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices long leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.